Hi everybody, welcome to this Lightroom tutorial. Um, this is in response to an email I had um, from somebody asking if there was a way that you could dodge and burn in Lightroom like you would in Photoshop. And your answer is absolutely yes, it's pretty much the same as you would do with the dodge and burn tools within Photoshop. So I've got this image here, and all we're going to do is we're going to set the brush tool. Now if you've got any settings in here and you want them reset, if you just double click the word effect at the top, I'll zero them all back out. Now for our burning, which is where making the, sh the shadows darker, what we're going to do is grab the shadow slider and drop it down to minus 100. Now at the bottom here we've got uh, a few different options. Um, obviously you want to feather your brush so it's, it's quite uh, soft, you don't have any harsh edges. The flow is I generally keep mine between 40 and 50. I'd rather run over something twice than just run over it once. So it's a way of of steadying the the flow of um, if you imagine it like a spray gun you'd be reducing the the nozzle size so you're reducing the flow that comes out and all we're going to do is basically run over any areas of shadow that we want to darken down a little bit now I appreciate this might be quite difficult for you to see as I'm doing it and I know that the this screen catcher doesn't capture the mouse size so you probably won't get a true reality of the size of the brush that I'm using. Um, my apologies about that, but if I just run over some of these shadow areas, and I'll press you know, multiple strokes on some areas just to ensure that you've got an even coverage if it's because uh, it's not like Photoshop in the fact that you can apply it twice, you know, as if you had a like a fifty percent opacity and if you did it twice you would get two lots at fifty percent. You're only going to get it covered once. Um, if we just hover over the pin there you can see the areas that I've done in red. Now this may not be particularly obvious but if I turn this brush on and off hopefully you should be able to see the differences and if you keep an eye on this open window here and this area of grass you'll probably see the biggest difference. So that's with a brush on, off, on, off, on, so you can see we are getting quite a good effect and it is very much like the dodge and burn. Now if there is areas you want to darken down even more, you know, you want to burn those areas in a little bit more, all we need to do is create a new brush and still leave it exactly the same settings and go over that particular area again. So we'll go over that area again over there. And perhaps again through the middle there and a bit more on that window there. And again we can uh, turn that brush on and off and see the effects we're having over all the brushes and again this is the second brush we created so it's just a few areas we've done and all we're going to do is create a new brush and we're going to do exactly the same thing for the dodging so double click on the word shadow to set that back to zero and I'm just going to get the highlight slider and push it up and this time I'm just going to paint over the highlights so I'm going to paint those white bits on the side there and there and a little bit over here and again because this is set to highlights it's only going to affect the highlights within this area it isn't going to affect um, darker areas and again we'll just switch that brush on and off and hopefully you can see that on the video if you keep an eye on this white area of the wall here and the top of this stone you'll probably see the biggest differences so that's on and that's off, on and off. Can be quite useful on the skies as well, for example we could uh, pick up some highlights in the sky there. And I'll just create a new brush, leaving it set to highlights. I'll go over that section there again. that bit there again and we'll create another new brush reset the highlights and this time we'll change the shadows and we'll just move over the sky again a little bit around here a bit around here there obviously you're going to pay far more attention to what you're actually doing you're not going to just going to rush through it like I am here just slap happy just to give you an idea so we'll do this one more time 
again you can probably see the difference in the sky appearing here so this is on that's off on off on off so you can add a lot of impact to images by using just the brush tool with the highlights and the shadows to do the equivalent of dodge and burn that you would generally do in Photoshop so this works obviously great with black and white images when you can appreciate the dodge and burn a little bit more um, but as you can see it can have quite a striking difference um, with, with your colour images as well um, you, you know you get a lot more contrast into the image uh, overall it just makes it sit a lot better on the eye hope you find this useful till the next time Bye for now.